during this pandemic for a change. As promised, we are going into the depths of Tubata Harris, which is an amazing underwater national park of the Philippines, which was designated by UNESCO as a world heritage site. Sit back and enjoy the beauty and magnificence of Tubata Harris. Here we go. Tubata Reefs Natural Park It is a protected area of the Philippines located in the middle of Sulu Sea. The marine and bird sanctuary consists of two huge atolls named the North Atoll and South Atoll and the smaller Jesse Beasley Reef covering a total area of 97,030 hectares. In December 1993, the UNESCO declared the Tubata Aris Natural Park as a World Heritage Site as a unique example of an tall reef with a very high density of marine species. The North Island serving as a nesting site for birds and marine turtles. This site is an excellent example of a pristine coral reef with a spectacular 100 meter perpendicular wall. Extensive lagoons and two coral islands. In 1999, Ramsar listed Tubataha as one of the wetlands of international importance. In 2008, the reef was terminated as the new seven wonders of nature. Over thousand species of marine life inhabit the reef with many considered as endangered. It is recognized as a center of marine biodiversity containing 75% of the described coral species and 40% of the world's reef fish. Research of scientists visiting the reef since the 1980s revealed that the Tubataha Reefs National Park consists 600 fish species, 360 coral species, 11 shark species, 13 dolphin and whale species and 100 bird species. Giant Travelly Jacks, Hammerhead Sharks, Barracudas, Manta Rays, Palm sized Moorish Idols, Napoleon Wrasse, Parrotfish and Moray Eels live in the sanctuary. There also have been reported sightings of whale sharks and tiger sharks. The Tubata Reef is situated on the Kagayan Ridge, composing of extant underwater volcanoes. Being a true atoll structure, it is believed that the atolls of Tubataha were formed thousands of years ago as the fringing reefs and volcanic islands. Atolls are formed when a volcano erupts and afterwards an island is born. When the volcanoes became extinct and the island subsided over the time, only the corals remain, growing towards the sunlight. The very big corals seen today surrounding the lagoons are originally the fringing reefs. If you ever visit Tubata Reefs, send some clicks and become the photographer of the month. The instruction is in the description below. Share, like and subscribe. This is Ancient Asia.